you proud. Let's use this giant drawer. Did you bring a business card? Um, All right, that's okay. Improvise.
information to Sarah, but have this great little recognition um, buffalo printout. Okay, so second uh, runner up was Alan Rell, and he raised his business by 74% with 20 transactions. sharing this with us because you might not like what I have to say. 
However, though, would you like me to just sugarcoat everything and tell you it's okay and you're awesome and this, or do you really want to know the truth? It's your choice. Okay. Whose choice is it? It's your choice. Yes. Okay. So Luke, there's a double open door right there. In case you don't like what I say, you have more than welcome, you have more welcome to leave. All right. Okay. All right. I need, I, 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 need, I, need a, I need a I need a I need a volunteer real quick. Most of you volunteer. Okay, you please come up here. Yes. Give it up for Nicole. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do real quick. Okay. So Nicole, here's what we're gonna do. I want you to do this for me. Okay. If you don't want to share, you do not have to. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to know what previously the real estate, what was going, what were you doing for work, and what kind of income were you bringing in? So why don't you write down construction for me? Twenty three dollars and fifty cents an hour. Okay, I need to get understanding here. I want to write this down. Yes, go, Luke. Property management. There you go. Seventeen dollars an hour. There you go. It's short for curing. Um, okay. I made just about a hundred grand a year. Okay. You have to write a little question. Okay. Uh, dentistry, thirty-one an hour. Dentistry, thirty-one dollars an hour. Okay. Waitressing, eighteen an hour. Okay. Commercial hardware store for fifteen dollars an hour. Perfect. Relationship banter, uh, 22. Okay. Make sure we put in the, uh, one of the dollar figures too as well. Yes. Right, well, Which was what? 18. 18. Perfect. Hardware was Hardware what? 18. Banker, 22. Banker, there you go. Banker, Banker 22. Uh, four. So what else? What else we do? Uh, Boeing, 46. There you go. Boeing, 46. Okay. Oh, look at all these wonderful people. Are they right there? They are right there. Hi. Todd, Melina, <laughs> Melanie, Jason, Dana. What's up, Dan? West. What's up, Slayer? Keep going, keep going, keep going here. Keep going. Don't stop. Where are we at? What do we got? Yes. Agent service coordinator, $18. Okay. Okay. 18 bucks an hour. Keep going. Come on. What'd you do? There you go. Then work in space. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 I've had some work done. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah. What do you got? Uh, I used to knock on doors for a tree service. I made about 95 k a year. Okay. There you go. Okay. What you say? Tree service. 95 k Okay. What do we do? Uh, worked in a restaurant about 15. Okay. Perfect. Okay. DoorDash. DoorDash. Okay. 12 bucks. Oh, less than that. Probably. Okay. Give <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me right. two more. Give me two more. Healthcare, 80,000 a year. Healthcare, 80K. Okay. So some of these are yearly and some of these are hourly, is what I'm gathering here. Okay. Phil, high school, right? Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Nate, high school too. Okay. Here we go. Tim, what'd you do? I was an electrician. Electrician. Uh, 55 an hour. There you go. Okay. All right, here's where I'm going with all this. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Give it up for Nicole again one more time. <laughs> here's what I'm doing this, right? Okay. Is because at some point we were all doing this and we said, you know what? I'm done with this. Yes or yes? Yes. yes. Okay, because I did. I said, you know, I'm done with it. I quit actually that day. I said, you know, I'm done. I quit. My co worker said, Why do you get my tools? Where do you get all that stuff? I said, No, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't need any more. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going with this because this is like, uh, there, was a, there was an old war between like the Spanish, uh, I'm sorry, from like England. They came on over to Mexico, the south end. And, uh, and when, they got to, when they got to the land, they burnt their own ships. What kind of presidents do you think that means? To, what, 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 what kind of expectations is that setting? Oh, yeah. 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 Huh. yeah. You're all in, man. <laughs> Is that how we're getting home? <laughs> no, you're not going home. We're staying here until, obviously, you know. Okay? Yeah. So I want to give us an example that we all left this. Yes or yes? Yes. yes. Okay. To do real estate. We're going to go do real estate and make all kinds of money. You thought that, right? Yeah. Is that how it works? No. no. I want to go show homes. I, like, love looking at houses, oh, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know anybody who wants to do real estate you meet because they love looking at houses? <laughs> I'm up all night on the I literally <laughs> told somebody, hey, that's so awesome. I don't think real estate would be for you then. Boom, right up front. Right. Okay. Is, is that real estate, Amy? 
No. No, it is not. It is not. All right. So here's where we're going with this, right? Is is this is what we left to go do what we do. And we put all this time, energy, and effort into getting our real estate license, studying, doing the course, getting it, and then we get our real estate license. And then everything we learned to get our real estate license has actually nothing to do with actually getting clients and prospects and actually selling real estate. There's a small portion of it, but we got a wonderful person that obviously named Amy Give it for Amy Wagner, by the way. That's right. <laughs> We have a fantastic person in the office named Amy. You can always go to and ask questions and help out, right? When it comes to the technical side of things. However, though, we got to go out there and generate what? Really? Some business. We got to get some business going here, all right? And so, um, is what I want to share with us is if you are not happy with where you're at in your life, you need to take ownership of that. So, our whole conversation today is really going to be is really going to be driven to you. To you and to you and to you and to you and even you and your quarterback. And you didn't want to listen to me talking about <laughs> right? Okay. Everything here is to you. And it's your choice whether or not you want to do something after we leave today. I can't help you with that. Your your spouse can't help you with that. Your kids can't. It's up to who? You. Yeah. It's up to you. Everything that you and if you don't like things that are happening in your life, then do something about it. If you don't like your health, do something about it. If you don't like the relationship you have, then do something about it. If you don't like the income you have, then what? Do something about it. Do something about it. I'm just over people like whining and complaining and moaning and groaning and pointing the finger here and pointing the finger there. Well, you know what they never do is, is, is look where? In the mirror. Yes. I actually like Michael Jackson's song, Man in the Mirror, right? You have to look in the mirror first and ask yourself, hey, am I where am I at? And, and, I, and you are where you are at in your life because of the choices and decisions that you have made all the way up to this point. And so you need to take ownership of that. And then if you don't like the direction that you have gone, then do something about it. Because at some point, you said, property management, I'm done. Right? Dentists, I don't want to do this no more. People look at people's mouth all day long, look at their nasty ass teeth. I don't want to do that no more. Waitressing, you know, you know, right, right? I mean, I've never waitress, never been a dentist, but I'm just assuming a bunch of needy people need ketchup and ranch, all this stuff, never happening. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just sharing with you, though, you got to do something about it. And at some point, they did. They said, I don't want to do agent search no more. I don't want to be climbing no trees no more. I don't want to do door to door that. Something had to change in your life then for you to say, okay, I'm making a change. And now when we get here, now, does that mean we've arrived? Have you arrived? No. Have you arrived? Yeah. But you're in real estate. You are there. Right? <laughs> does it work that way? Yeah. No. They have this damn all of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Right? So we're constantly always changing and growing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Luke is a different person than he was when I met with him sitting right here at this table seven years ago, whenever that time was. Yeah. Right? Completely different person. Our mom is a different person when he came here. Mr. Big Shot of Keurig, top dog there, and he comes here, and he ain't no top dog. Right? <laughs> he's got to work his way. And he's been working his way, working hard, working hard, working hard, doing what he's doing, buying investment properties, building, building real estate, things like that. Okay? Remember, today, we're talking what? True. Yeah. We're talking the truth. If you are unhappy, if you don't like anything in your life, you have to do something about it. And who's that up to again? Yeah, it's up to you. Okay? Here's just one little example, right? Who would like more time back in their life? If you were just to get up one hour earlier, manifest that and what that would look like over six months or a year of your life, I believe it gives you back two full weeks if you do that for all year long. Just one hour. And so the question is, right, who's already worked out today? Raise your hand if you already got an exercise and worked out. Okay, small portion of us. Okay, raise your hand if you already made some phone calls and prospect and touch base some clients. Another small portion of us. Right? Raise your hand if you've read a book today and started, started any, or any, uh, any meditation of some sort. Okay? Small group of people, right? So those are the things that all head in that direction of becoming the person you want to become. Gary says the success is a never in pursuit of being the best version of who? Ourselves. Of yourself. And so what does your best version look like? When is it getting up? When is it exercising? When is it with the relationship we're doing? When are we actually prospecting? And that's another thing here too as well that we can really dive in on is, is summertime can go Really fast and it's over with quickly. It's already look, yeah. Fourth of July is what next weekend? Yeah, hey, you gotta come on, really. I'm having that compared for, 
right? Now listen, next thing you know, it's going to be football season, which will be the middle of the fall. I'm sharing all this with us because you can decide to either do something about it or not do something about it. And I'm talking about real estate wise, okay? Now is a great time to go out door knocking, people outside, people are doing a uh, yard work, people are hanging out, garage sales are happening. It's a great time to do open houses. People are feeling a little bit better. You can meet people, come to the open house, right? And they're walking, talking, real estate, to just have these interactions with people. It's a great time to go pop by people's house, bring them some flowers, bring them some treats, bring them something and just say, hey, you know, I appreciate you. Thank you for being such a great client. There's all these things that you can do, but who's it up to again? You. Yes. And it's lighter out right now. I don't know if you wear this or not, but about 445, 5 o'clock, it's actually starting to get light out. Because in the old days, they used to be coming home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Okay, we have two lights. We have black and four kids, and we have black kids. Okay? <laughs> you don't have kids, and you don't understand that, what I just said. That's I fine. enjoy it. <laughs> okay? So you can get up earlier and accomplish a lot more. I mean, I, I, I average here at the office every day between 8.30 and 8.45. And there's pretty much only a couple cars ahead of us, and nobody's ever going to be Kelly. Here, I'll tell you that. However, though, I'm kind of shocked and surprised how there's not very many cars here. Like, what's everybody doing then? Maybe they're to the gym. Maybe they're working out. They're working out. There's a hand today. No, that wasn't it, right? Okay. Maybe they're meditating. Maybe they're doing things. I don't know. But that's who's it, who's it up to again? You. It's up to you. Okay. So now we're going to kind of dive into some stuff. So you might want to grab a pen and a piece of paper, grab your cell phone, and jot some things down. Okay. Um, is what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about the truths. So these are five truths that you cannot hack. You cannot hack these truths, okay? And so I don't want to, I don't have time to write every single so hold on down. If I get a volunteer, they can write them down if you like. Okay. The closer you are to the truth, the simpler things become. The closer you are to the truth, here you go. Here use the black one. The simpler, oh, I'm sorry, the closer you are to the truth, the simpler things become. What is that? What is it? What does that mean to you? I think there's clarity once you get closer to the truth. Once yeah. you know it's real, you know, it's just a lot of clarity there. Yes. So it makes it easier to take action and make yes. a decision because uh -huh. the truth is uh -huh. easy to clarify. Yes. Simple. Yes. yes. More simple. More simple. You're fine. Simple. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Focus. Focus. I like that. Have you ever stretched the truth sometimes? Never. It's not lying. I'm just going to stretch the truth. I don't lie. Yeah. You know? Okay, the closer you can be honest with yourself, then the closer then that you can actually get to where you're trying to go. If you're trying to lose some weight, I'm gonna use this as an example. Look at fitness. Look, in my eyes, fitness is the biggest thing that you are a thousand percent in control of. This is not true. Nobody else is. What's that? It's not true. No, it's not. Sorry. It's okay. If you are trying to get different results, but you never want to get on the scale, how do you know where you're at? Sometimes people, or they don't want to look at their bank accounts, right? Or they don't want to think about what's up ahead. They're trying to like disguise it and hide it. They don't want to get on the damn scale. Get on the damn scale. I don't care what it is. The point is, what is it? So now we can make adjustments to move what? Forward, right? But if we never know where we're at, how can we improve and get better? Right? Right. You gotta ask ourselves these things. Okay. So the so the, the first one is the closer you are to the truth, the simpler things become. Okay. And then this kind of ties in with that. So skips erase number two. The draw is just a line or error or something. Leverage is something you have to get right if you want a big life. Leverage is something you have to get right if you want a big life. What does the word leverage mean? I'm gonna say that. Hi, Laura. What's the word leverage mean? Not everybody at the same time. <laughs> it's like delegation. There you like go. Getting rid of things. There you go. That you don't want to do. There you Maybe go. Of somebody else can do that. There you go. I need balance. Give me an example. Uh, do you do your own taxes? No. There you go. No, I was hoping you said no. Yeah. Me too. I don't want nothing to do with it. Right? I'm going to give everything I got here and you figure it out now. Right? Tell me what I need to do. Okay. Right? Is that leverage? Yeah. Yes. Is a transaction coordinator like this awesome one occurs at leverage? Yes. Yes. Is a who installs their own signs? I don't. Oh, yeah. stole one. I see an agent stole a sign. Joe, I could do. Come on. Whatever. It's cool. It's his business, not mine. Literally seen the guy out there doing the sign. He's a listed agent. That's fine. 
that leverage stuff, right? If leverage is something you have to get right if you want a big what? Life. A big life. I am assuming everybody in here wants a big life. Remember, there's a double open door. If you don't like what I say, you're more welcome to go. You will not hurt my feelings. Okay. I'm assuming everybody wants to what kind of life? Big, big, life. big life. Now, Nate's big life is going to be different than Phil's big life. Is, is, is that fine? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. However, though, any life is going to be better than what we what we had, right? Remember, we left this. We left this. We said we're not going back to that. Correct? Right. Okay. Is the market different right now? Yes. Yes. This can that kind of creep in your head sometimes. Right. It probably can for some people. Right? It can. Okay. <laughs> Molly, how many people left the office this year so far? Uh, Approximately. I'm going to say. Be truthful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're talking truth here. Yeah, probably 40. 40. But, 40. but I just heard a stat that 66% of agents have left the industry since the beginning of the year. Yeah. Wow. 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 Opportunity. 60,000 60, people so far this yeah. year have not renewed their membership in National oh, Association. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, last August, yeah. Gary talked at Megacamp. If you don't go to Megacamp with family reunion, you're missing out. I'll never understand that. Another sidebar subject. Okay. Uh, he says it's going to be about a two year run here. This is in August. We're not even one year into it. Two, and then it's going to be about a four year run until things kind of get back to normal. So you got to ask yourself how long you want to hang in here and do this thing. Well, that was great. Nice. Okay. So, anyway, that's kind of a sidebar. Okay, here we go. Leverage is something you have to get right in your life if you want it, if you want a big life. Okay. And so another example would be, uh, um, you know, uh, maybe it's a landscaper. I don't do landscaping in my rental properties. Could I? For sure. I could. I got my own lawnmower. I can load it up. But do I want to go do all that? No, because I know I can make more time. More, more. My time is more valuable than for me to go do that, and I can pay somebody else to go do that. I would rather be at home playing wiffle ball in my front yard and pay somebody to go do stuff because my time is more valuable. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Can somebody else relate to that? Okay. All right. So now we're going to go number two. To change your life, you must change your identity. Let's say that again. To change your life, you must change your identity. And it's what I mean by that is, is what are you like at your best? When you drop your kids off to school, do you say, hey, go have an average day? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, you know what? Today it's Friday. Just 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 slide on through today, son. You don't have to give it your best. Don't pay attention too much. Just hang in there. We're almost out of here. Right? So the question is, who who, who is Armand becoming? Who is Tony becoming? Who is Luke becoming? What, what road and path are you on to become the best version of yourself? Or are you just doing the same thing every day and hoping for different results? Because that will that will, will that happen? Absolutely. No. <laughs> you can't do the same thing and want different results. If I keep eating the same damn cookies and ice cream, am I gonna jump on the scale and it's gonna be less? No. No, are we talking truth today? Yes or yes? Yeah. yes. Come on, let's go. Can I throw one thing in there? Yes. So um, at Keurig, when we were in our heyday, Hi, Michelle. it was insane. The company was crushing it. Our economy was in a recession. We were killing it. Life was great. And Keurig came, one of the one of the head guys at Keurig said, hey, I want to share something with you. We're shifting our, our model completely. Like, what are you talking about? We're killing it. Life is great. Everything's amazing. And they said, yeah, it is right now. And here's what they said. You can't lean on what got you where you are today to get you where you need to be tomorrow. So at the height, so when Lance and Anton were talking two years ago, saying the shift is coming, we're like, you're crazy, my phone won't stop ringing, you guys are out of control, you're wrong. Here it was already planning for the next way in advance. And then when it did happen, they were already ahead of it. Now they're curing Dr. Pepper. So like, that always resonated with me. So like, you know, you can't just sit back when you're totally crushing it, you already gotta be planning for the next step. Yes. Are things always changing? Yes. 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 yes, they are. Okay. So what is, what is your, so the, the, here's the question then is, what does it look like when you're at your best? 
If you could really design your best day, what does that look like to you? Might be different for everybody else. Getting up early, exercising, working out, reading some, meeting some people, and making some phone calls, prospecting with your database, maybe calling on that new sign call that just came in, call the people who came to the open house last weekend, maybe set up a fire call station, maybe get a listing appointment, maybe send some listing papers, maybe, maybe, maybe meet a photographer, get everything going, get to get things prepped up, get it ready, go home, pick up the kids, go to baseball, hang out, have a nice barbecue, hang out at the house, watch sunset, go down and make love. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's what it is. What it is. <laughs> hey, hey, you want to have a good life? Just give an example. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it. Exactly. Which day of the week was that? Hey, what are we speaking here? Can can we do that? Yeah. Yes. Are we okay to do that in this room? Yeah. Yes. Have you figured out who you are? Yet? Johnny, we're getting deep here. I'm not talking about signing contracts. I think we can do that. You do way better than me. Who are we talking about today? You. We're talking about ourselves. So, have you figured out who you are yet? I don't know about you, but I'm on this road. And you know what? I fail every single stupid day. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't work out for God. Yeah, we did. It's like, dude, that's what shit. Okay, well, let's keep on going. Okay, well, shoot, ask Nicole. So she's laughing at me. Right? Where's Kelly? She's not here, is she? No. Yeah. Okay. Follow me on that. Fail every single day and move forward. So we gotta ask ourselves, okay, so have you figured out who you are? Okay. Uh yes. Okay. And so I want to use here and I have you right I want you to write down at your best self, who are you? At your absolute best. I remember in bold, uh probably this is in Milk Creek, so it's probably my fifth or sixth time taking it. Uh, Cody Gibson, you had to set a thing down, and you had it, and you, 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 you couldn't go on it. You had to manifest, you had to stand up, and you had to think about your best self. What does your best self look like? Who Who is that person that is your best? And you had X on the piece of paper, and you couldn't stand on that until you figured that out. I stood there for a little while thinking about this. Who's Lance? What am I working on? What, what is the best version of myself look like? And then I went on, and I stood on it, and I started crying, man. Just weeping. Just thinking of it. <clears throat> see, see that? It can hit you. How, how bad do you want it to be? Just me thinking about it hits me. Mm. I'm standing there and I'm just weeping. I'm just like thinking of my family, my wife, and the kids, and, and my life, and taking care of my house, and building a business, and retiring, and one day traveling, and shining, all of these things. And then I, I woke up, opened my eyes. I was the only one that says, It's just tears are coming. I look back at my life, what that was like. That was, I don't know, 2015, 16. It has just quantified since then. Tremendously. And it's not because of what I did once. It's because of what you do continuously, day in and day out, even when you don't want to do it. Even when, you, even, even when it sucks. You still got to what? Do it. How important is it to you to be the best version of yourself? Sometimes I don't get to bed till late and I got to get up at 6 a.m. and have the internet, have like 60 people in my house, huge ass barbecue, fire all night long, partying all night long. And I didn't go to bed till one in the morning. The six o'clock came. Did I want to get up? No. Tim, did I? Yes. You're done, right? Right? Because I'm trying to continue to work on being who Luke, the best version of what? Ourselves. Ourselves. Looks back was bothering him forever. He started doing some yoga. Now he's doing cartwheels outside. <laughs> right? Because he's continuing to be the best version of who? Of himself. Right? Okay. So number three, we're going to go diluted focus results in diluted results. Diluted focus results in diluted results. Time is the one commodity you will never get back. And so it is up to you on where you spend your time. And if you spend your time not doing things that are productive or that's going to move the needle, I'm going to go to your business. If you're not getting to the office, Gary says lead Jen from when to when. Somebody tell me. Yes. You know how many people are outside to look from the car to see at 9 in the morning? Hardly any. 
I mentioned it all due to the pool. Oh, yeah. They are. Yeah. Everybody's got a Boston for coffee, so I'll go over there. Feel more comfortable with it. Uh, less distractions. You know what I mean? Nobody's bothering them, you know? Now, if that's the truth, awesome. Good for you. And I'm proud of you. But if it's not, then you got to make some changes. Okay? Diluted focus results in what? Diluted, Diluted results. Diluted results. Do we want to get good results? Yes. Yeah. Look, I want to get hyper focused and I want to be very productive. I hate the word because oh man, it's super busy, huh? No, man, I ain't busy, I'm productive. Switch the narrative, change that to somebody. When somebody says, Oh man, I'm just so busy, ask them, Oh, that's great. Are you productive though? What's the look of this? What? Nobody's asked for that. What do you mean? What do you mean? Then they get all defensive. Jesus. Oh God, it's can't have a conversation. Over. You know how hard it is to actually talk truth today with people? I don't want to offend anybody. Come on. Jesus. Can I get a trophy when we're done? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's hyper focus. Everything that you do, you got to make sure you're doing it with, with the intention of what the results are you're trying to get here. Right? If you wake up in the morning, you wake up for a certain reason, not because it's late, you got to go, and now you're hauling ass and speeding everywhere because you're late looking like a mess. You wake up early so you can be then prepared. Get your exercise in. Go walk your neighborhood. I don't care what it is you do. You got to do something. You got to get the blood flowing. If you don't, when do you get your mind right? When are you thinking about yourself? When are you listening to podcasts? When are you reading something? When are you getting the body in motion? Right? When you do that, positive things will happen. They'll come. You get clarity. Did you say the word clarity? Absolutely. Yes. Uh huh. You get clarity on what you're trying to do and what you're doing. And then do you feel good about yourself after you worked out, Luke? Absolutely. Yes, Tim. Tim and I text this morning about six fifty. He probably responded. He probably spread it. Yeah, I was right back at you. Oh yeah, yeah, That's great. Right? He's giving me a little update on something. I was responding in thirty seconds. Bam, on it. I see our mom in there getting some things happening. Right? Okay. So diluted focus results in what? Diluted results. Result. So you have to ask yourself, what is important in my life? What am I working on? Where am I going? If it's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's whatever it is, you need to figure that out and then ask myself, how much time am I spending there? And is it focus time? Or is it time coming to the office, looking at email, jumping on the MLS, going to visit with this person, that person, hanging out, next thing you know, it's 4 o'clock and I'm going to call it a day. What did you actually get done? Do not mistake uh, activity for achievement. Hold on. Don't mistake what? Activity for achievement. Right? Because everybody's busy. Do you know anybody that's not busy? No. No. Just ask them. They'll tell you how busy they are. <laughs> but I want to know how productive are you? What did you actually accomplish? What did you get done? Right? And sometimes it might not happen. It's also the compound effect. Great book, by the way. The compound effect, because everything we're doing right now in real estate, you might not get paid for another 60, 90, 120 days from now. Are you okay with that? Yes. Yes. And the money you are making right now should be from the work you were doing then in the springtime. The reason why 2020 and 2021 was my biggest years in my 17 year career in real estate is because when everybody was shut down in March, when I came back from Schland, I came back here, nobody was around. Guess what? I was only one in the office full time. It's nice. Is that focus? Yes. yes. Kelsey was at home. We, we had a great plan. Kelsey was at home with the boys. She was doing schoolwork with them for the first four or five hours a day. I would come in the office at nine o'clock. I'd go home at about one, one o'clock, two o'clock. And I just hammered the phone calls, checking on people, how they're doing, touching base with them. How are you? How's the family? Everything good? Everybody doing all right? Okay. For, and then all of a sudden, when, when things were better, then who did they call? Yeah. Yes, because who was calling them when things weren't about great? So, like right now, are you calling your dad based on the people that you know on a regular, regular, regular basis? Are you sending them Thanksgiving cards? Are you sending them Christmas cards? Are you going to visit them? Birthday cards, anniversary cards. Are you calling them, texting them, seeing them? Or are you the agent that just says, Yeah, I do all referrals and my phone just rings? Well, then get eight transactions there, buddy. Come on. They won't have a big life. Eight transactions there. <laughs> it's easy to get unfocused. Yes or yes? yes. yes. Lucas told me personally before he's had to get rid of some of those social media sites. Unfocused. You ever watched one or two reels next thing you know? Next thing you know, <laughs> shit, it's like 45 minutes ago. You're laughing laugh your ass off. It's like two in the morning. Like, Damn, I already got me. That's been me before, right? 
guess what? Still got a message. Let's go. Okay. It's easy to get unfocused. Okay. Number four. Number four is the key to building a truly big business is to get there first and block them out. The key to building a truly big business is to get there first and to block them out. By the way, I didn't share this thing, but everything I'm sharing with you came right from Gary Keller. Because what I did is I went back to my notes when I was in a room with him and about 400 top agents in the whole company. And this is exactly what you're doing. So you're hearing stuff right from no, yeah. Gary Keller. And if Gary Keller says anything, I just, sir, yes, sir, I'm on. <laughs> I do not question anything that that guy says or does. And if you do, no, that's a cue. Okay? The key to building a truly big business is to get there first and block them out. What do you think he means by that? Check your time. There we go. I like that. So it says get there first mm -hmm. and block them out. When I hear block them out, do too many people focus on other people? Yes. Mm -hmm. But then how many homes they sold and what house they got and the car they got and maybe all oh, man, they got more investments than me, this or that. Who gives it then? We need to continue to focus on who? Yes. Us. You. And remember, it's done over time. Last week was my 10 year mark. I bought my very first investment property. Pretty sad about that. So, like, we were not 10 years of investing in real estate. Who would have thought that? He was probably dead. When did you buy your first investment property? 2012. 2012. I see. I tell you, dude, Amy, you guys don't know Amy. You better get to know Amy. All right. Okay. It's done over time. When I bought that property, Luke, it was cash flow fifty-seven dollars a month. I said, "Oh yeah, let's buy that." <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I was stretching it, paying two hundred twenty-five thousand for it. Yeah. Oof. Who would like to buy duplex? Now I want to Now I bought one, one side for two twenty-five. <laughs> one side. Come on now. Now Luke, same one. Now cash flow is about eighteen hundred. Okay, now that's done over what? Yeah. Over time. We're compounding everything. Everything I'm sharing with you is compounding over time. Okay, it's not going to happen right now. You're not going to walk out of here and sell 100 homes. But you know what? You have the ability though, to sell 100 homes in 2025 if you choose to. How do I know that? Because we've got it. It doesn't happen overnight, but it happens over time. As long as you stay the course. And also stay focused. Don't get deluded. Right? And you know when you're being deluded. And you know when you're not being focused. And you know when you should have went and worked out. And you know you should be making the phone calls right now. You know you should call that person, but you don't want to because there's some stupid idea you have in your mind of what you think that they might say. Jesus, really? Give me the damn phone. I'll call them. And I'll close the deal and I'll give you a referral. You okay with that? <laughs> Why do we all laugh? You're sitting in front of us, so that's why you're not in this <laughs> okay. I appreciate you coming. Okay. You only have his license, right? You don't have your license, right? Yeah. You know he's one. Okay. But today we're speaking the what? Truth. That's what I'm talking about. And when you get in the real estate, you want to know the truth, right? Do you want me to tell you how awesome and glorified it is? Huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are we at here? We are at number five. Yep. Relationships that matter. Are a daily practice. Relationships that matter are what? Daily, daily, daily practice. Daily practice. Have you ever met anybody and they're like, you know, that? Ah, I'm gonna go down the road. <laughs> Relationships are. I heard this from a marriage counselor. Uh, and actually, Dan, it goes to my family reunion once again. Huh, every bit. Dan Agosa brought in a guest speaker, and it was a marriage uh, relationship guy, and they did a thing up on stage. Because do we are we are, are we in relationship with our clients? Yes, yes. we are. We are. Okay. And is what they talked about is is our is our, our relationships our relationships 50-50. No, no. Whatever. Hundred percent new. There you go. It's hundred. It's hundred. Hit on the head. 
you have to be invested 100% into that other person. And if you're waiting for them to give you the 50 back, what if they don't give you the 50 back? Right? You're just going to hang out and you're wait, you're waiting. No, you have to love on them and unconditionally and reach out to them and, and do it being that person, not relying on them to come back to you. I can't tell you how many people in my world I reach out to on a regular basis. I'm not expecting them to reach back out to me. That's not their job. That's not their responsibility. Is it, is it, is it the person's job that came to your open house to call you back? Come on. This is the person's job that you met with them two weeks ago, did a listening appointment. Are they supposed to call you to tell you you didn't get it or you did get it? No. How about when, how about when uh, you hand your business card out to people and expect them to call you? Oh, God. Yeah. I'm doing that. Have you ever had someone call you on your business card? Yeah, I got a really nice one. Yeah, this year. No, you know what? I get their name and number. Yeah. Yeah. That's most important. When I got their name and number, I called it any time of the week, any day. Right, but if I give them to mine, you know what? Uh, it goes in their pocket. Then they get home, it goes on the table. Then it goes this, then it fell behind the thing, gone. Man, who is that real estate guy? Ah, that's fine. We'll find somebody else. Yep. Well, there's one eight grand. All four. Yeah. Trying to be conservative these days. They can grow a little low. All right. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? Okay. Relationships that matter are a daily practice. And then underneath that, he says, who are your important relationships? Who are your important relationships? And you could think about this. This could be team members. This could be your admin. This could be obviously your spouse. I have, uh, I have wonderful assistant coaches I meet with and talk with on a regular basis too for my baseball team. You guys. Do you think that people who have these big lives, they have key people in their world? You got to think about that, right? And so you got to ask yourself, who do you want to have then in your world? And then when they are in your world, are you treating them great? And then also, what are they doing to help your world? If they're sucking vampire energy out of you, do you want them in your world? No, you ever hung out with somebody just a negative Nancy? Debbie Downer? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh, nothing. <laughs> right? Don't want nothing to do with them. They can go be Debbie Downer by themselves. They, especially the older people get, the worse it is. I don't even want to do that. Kids, I can work with. I can mold them. I can train them. I can teach them. I can open their eyes up to different perspectives. Most adults, though, you know, I wouldn't want them to. Well, the reality is, Lynch, you are the company you keep. So, mm -hmm. inevitably, that's going to you'll turn into that. You'll start taking on those habits. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So relationship matters a daily practice. Okay. I wanted to share all this with us here. Okay. Because the most important thing is to speak the what? Truth. Mm -hmm. Just to speak the truth. And we all were here at one time. And we said, forget this. <laughs> We all did at one time because we want a better life for ourselves. Yes or yes. yes. Okay. And real estate will allow that to happen. It is, Gary says, it is the number one business you can get into for the least amount of money and make the most unpotential amount of money. How much does it cost to get your license? 400 bucks. Okay. Get a couple of cards, pay a little desk fee, this, that. Boom. You're in. License. Go show home today. And then go so home saying somebody likes it and they buy it and they're right up and you get thousands of dollars. Come on, man. You're kidding me. Right? I know it's not that easy. However, though, if you stay focused and you're hyper focused on your time and your energy, and energy, that's a whole other process too, as well. That'd be a whole other segment we can talk about. Right? You're a mess. Somebody just like Andrew said, down. That's just funny. Uh, I have so many stories. Have you ever made me like that? Yeah. And you're like, man, sometimes I'll ask my wife, we're going here. What's the first question to ask her? Who's going? Yes. Luke knows me too well. <laughs> Luke knows me too well. Who's going? So and so, so and so. So and so, so and so. Oh man, sweet. Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm driving. Right? That's how I get sometimes, right? Because you got to figure that out. Okay. That's another topic, different time energy. 
Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's talk. Let's let's open this up now. Okay, let's talk about this. Who's got Who's got an aha? Who's got something that stood out? Who's Who's got something that they can walk out of here today? We have uh, nine minutes exactly that you can put into action. You can leave today with and know you are going to do something about everything I just shared with us. I like just defining what your best version of yourself. Is oh, jeez. Like. I, I want you to do that so bad that it is just like this overwhelming. Has anybody ever been to church before and you're just overwhelmed with the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. It's a real thing, okay? And it's just this overwhelming like, wow, I want that to happen to you. I want you to have such <clears throat> clarity of who you are as a woman. That you walk out of that and you say, wow, today is a new day and I'm in charge of this day. And everything that has happened before behind you, that's all behind us. All we're focused on is what's ahead of us and where we're going and who's coming with us. I think Lance, for me, the biggest challenge I've had is continuing to be intentional and strategic. You know, with all the things you're talking about with your time, you know, like you said, getting here early, getting to the gym, doing that. It's implementing it, but, but doing it strategically, mapping it out, putting it on paper, and actually following the plan day in and day out. Because you're right, you are here every day. This guy is here every morning, you yes. know? Yeah, so it's, I, I think that's what's the most important. That you will I, see I massive results in your business. Massive. Not a little bit, Armand. You have so much talent, and you kind of don't use it all, man. I know you very well. We talk very good together sometimes. Yeah. And you have a lot of talent, and sometimes I have to keep kicking you in the ass yeah. to get you going. Yeah. yeah. And I'm proud of you, though, for going to main camp. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, you have five years. You put a big conference. <laughs> yeah. It's finally going. Give Armand that. We're off for that. Yeah. <laughs> Intentional and focus, right? Yeah. Good. I see you stroll on in here. Uh, come on, man. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, that's true. That's that true. Got him. I'm already an hour and a half into prospecting, book two appointments, but that's cool. It's all good. Ah, ah. See, hey, hey, we're talking what? Yeah. Come on, let's go. I can talk that way to him. Yeah, I might not talk that way to some of these other ladies in here, but I can do that by mom. Okay, here we go. What else we got? I mean, the thing is, don't mistake activities for achievement. Ah, jeez, yes, yes. We be busy, super busy, right? Everybody's busy. We'll be productive, though. Is there a difference? Oh, yeah. Yes. Kara, is there a difference? Yes. Yes. Okay. What else? I Take love away. the change your life, uh, change your identity. Uh, my word for the year has changed, and it's been a lot of change in my life right now. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's, it's all good. It's yeah. like, I mean, who is Jules and who are you, like that whole thing. Yes. And with that, but also becoming the best person. Like you said, it's every day is a failure in a way like, that there's so much learning with each failure. So yes. Yes. That's a good one. Okay. So let's do this, right? Here's an example. Here is Julie right now, right? So we want to know, and here is the goal. <clears throat> As you should say, I, right? Who am I becoming? That's the journey. Jerry says, start with the what in mind? The end. Start with the end in mind, and then work your way backwards. <laughs> What else? No take one. Diluted focus results in diluted results. I, I want so bad to be an awesome agent that I have diluted focus because I allow home remodel projects to distract me. I allow family vacations to distract me. I allow, oh, we're going to put up with this the farm this weekend. Yeah. I allow my diluted focus of, I don't really want to come home stay. Okay. Turn me away from real estate. Okay, so can we talk about that for a second? Who yes. can relate to that? Yes. Okay, so here, here's where it comes along. Where is your most time spent? If you can lead generate and book an appointment, go sell a house, how much money can you make from doing that? Okay, as opposed to hiring somebody else to go do something for you. 
There's, I pay a lot of money to a lot of people in my life to go do things for me because I know, Ashton, my time is more valuable at the office, making phone calls, prospecting, booking appointments, and closing deals. That is the most productive hour I can ever do in my life. And so why would I then stop looking to make whatever it is, it's a good number, to then go when I can pay somebody this for 60 bucks or $100 or $2,000? whatever it is, right? Now, if you're not in a position to do that, then that's because you're not focused enough on making enough business and doing enough lead generation to make it happen. That's how that works. I know people who've got all these rental properties and they do all the work themselves, which is great if you want to do that, I guess. But then you're taking time away though from going and actually making more money. So they go buy more properties. Yes. I'm a... Uh victim of that and specifically the leverage being something else. Um, last year, I, I have a duplex in Everett. Last year, I was paying somebody to mow. It was costing me something like $250. The property manager set it all up. I was completely hands off. And property manager was taking care of it all. And I stopped that. And I started going more to myself. Part of that, if we're talking truth, it was easier for me to go mow than to stomach paying somebody else to do it. Or to come in here and meet to it. Of course. And so it's it's so hard to to think about not doing that stuff. Like how hard is it to mow your farm? Yeah. So much easier. Yes. See, but here's what can happen. We'll come to that. Is he's busy though. He's busy. He's going to work on his rental property, which is great. You have a rental property. That's awesome. You get an opportunity to do that though, right? However, though, 250 bucks a year or a month. So what's that? And you don't even you don't even do it in the winter months. So let's just call it two grand. I don't even recognize the benefit of not doing it. So today, yeah, I'm going to go and two grand. So he's taking all his own, and you got to change your clothes, right? Got to go eat the lawnmower, load it up in the truck, drive there, unload, got gas, do this, get some snacks, do this, and they say, you know, it turns into a three hour process. Worst. Bought another lawnmower to eat there. <laughs> <laughs> and it took all that time that you're mowing the lawn, and you got one deal out of it that would pay for your whole yeah, year. There you go. Hey, hey, remember, we're talking one. <laughs> we're talking the truth. I have three different landscapers I work with. Yes. 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 There you go. There you go. I got somebody mowing my house in Lake Chelan. When I show up, it's dialed in. I don't want to show up two foot tall grass and then I'm out there mowing while the kids are in the pool. Right? Which we know better. That'll be more. Okay, here we go. What else? We still got a couple minutes. Yes, Luke, sorry. Uh, I heard Ben Kenny say that a key point to leverage, though, is that it's only leverage if you then go spend your time generating money yeah. otherwise otherwise it's a luxury okay all right okay the one is really like drop the nuggets the relationships okay like how imperative Thank you. it is to have a great relationship like the people that uh are so supportive of you yes and how you should water that relationship yes because like your relationship can make a break yes you know and i think that's that number five is really yeah important. i love it i love it your business if you were to look at it if you don't about where you're at in your business, 80% of your business comes from the relationships that you have with people. It's that first, like, do they even like you? That's the first thing, right? Do they like you? If they like you, then they trust you. If they trust you, they will then what? Do business with you, right? So you got to make sure people like you. Are you approachable? Are you likable? Are you okay? Are you nice? Do you smile? Or are you mean and you stink? Um, I would like to add, add what is it that people are in a trap, like like you said, that people don't want to step on scale. Yes. Or uh, whatever, people don't want to check their bank balance, but the truth will set you free. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, you Jesus, the way, Jesus is the way, the truth is my life. Yes. You know I mean? That's so, what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, yeah, so uh, what is it? If you, what is it? What is it? Like, I was scared to step on a scale or whatever, whatever. I was like, pushing 200 pounds. And then I was like, Dude, I've got some freaking fat on the side. So I was like, I'm glad you said something. And then I was, I was, like, I was, I was like looking at my uh, previous pictures. I was like, I got a six pack. I used to have yeah. a six pack. Yeah. Thing. Where'd that go? I was like, where did that go? Yeah. And I was like, I'm done with this. So I went on my keto. And a boy. Away. And a boy. Uh, Most importantly, he did something about it. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And you feel better now. Oh, yeah. There you go. Give it up for Philip for that. Okay. Let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get three more. Then we're going to end. What's up, Kelly? Kelly, do I make mistakes every day? 
changing things and you now are becoming and working on the best version of yourself so you have to let the past go of whoever you were at that point because i've had two lives too as well okay and you got to let that go and now we got to move forward I and to know. and to do that you got to change your identity the first thing that happens though is everyone around you freaks out yeah, yeah. my husband freaked out he didn't know what's wrong like my oh you want to go to work wait whoa whoa you're not home now yeah. oh that's more responsibility for me i had to do a lot of personal work to still grow and not fall back into there you my go. old stuff you know love it that was comfort zone two more you you can stand there by the quiet the yes give me a takeaway what's your name elise elise yes please give me a takeaway um i really like the relationship thing i feel like i've been leaning more into getting like and learning more about the people that i surround myself with and it's actually brought out like it's helped me filter out through the people and especially for somebody who just says that they don't have enough time i'm spending time with the wrong people that aren't motivating me or the class for me to do better i feel like that is actually giving me a lot more time and i feel less guilty as well like big taking time to spend on myself and mm -hmm. things that are going to further my career so wow breakthrough give it up for her for that huh? <laughs> who, who can relate to that yeah. Uh -huh. yeah give me one more lance west says you can't lean on what you got today to bring you tomorrow that's the quote nice I mean, I like the way Armand said it better. But... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Dan. I, I like that relationships are one hundred percent. I uh, I definitely depended on. I, I think I put more on the other side of the relationships. Like I just had my twenty year reunion this weekend. Yeah. And all these people knew me. Probably got 15, 20 people. Oh, you're real estate. I haven't talked to them in twenty years. Yeah. And uh, they know me. We got this social media life, you know. Yeah. And and, and the other weird part was. Um, there was multiple people that wouldn't show up, but they're super active on social media. Yeah. And it's like they've got a fake life. They were scared uh, to actually step into real uh, and like actually see somebody after yeah. 20 years, but they'll they'll post videos and all this crap yeah. on social media. And what I was just realizing is like you actually have to put hundred percent in and then whatever happens, happens. Like I sometimes don't pull my clients back or whatever after doing deals with them. And I just expect, oh, they like me. They love me, actually. They'll call, so you see their house back they'll call me. Yeah. yeah, they'll yeah. call me. Just somebody else. Not if you don't put it on yeah. set. It's all you. Yeah. It's good job. You got to put it back in first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. Cool. Uh, I have enjoyed this. I sure hope that everybody got some takeaways. Uh, huge. Uh, huge. Yes. Here is, here, here we can end with this. Is does everybody know who Mark Cuban is? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mark Cuban has a theory, and I really love it. Kind of, kind of reminds me of myself a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Minus Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> Ready, fire, aim. He says. Ready, fire, aim. Have you ever met anybody who's just kind of getting it dialed in? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I'm, you know, getting this going, getting that going. You know, once I, now I'm just, you know, I'm, 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 just I'm, hang on, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I'm just kind of, you know, the, uh, the 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 moon is coming over, and we got this, we got the the sun coming, and then it's all gonna line up, and then once that happens, woo, you watch out. Has anybody ever met anybody like that? Yeah, they're just waiting to get it all, just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, dude, blast off. Ah, let me tell you something. That will never come. You have to just go out there and do it. And be okay to get knocked around a little bit. 
will be okay to strike out. It's okay. I tell my kids that every day. As long as you're swinging the bat, I'm okay with that. But you got to swing the bat. And by swinging the bat is by making the phone call to the person that came to the open house, by cold calling, door knocking, doing the open house, doing all these things, calling your spirit of influence, calling the guy you don't like, calling the past client who was upset with you, checking in with them, how's the house going, right? Those are the at bats you need to do and to take because sometimes you're going to strike out, and other times, though, you're going to get a nice base hit up the middle. Like, oh, yeah, man, it's great. Come on over, check it out. Like, oh, sweet. I'm actually kind of thinking about maybe upgrading a little bit. But if you don't do what somebody else is, right? Right on our board. If we put on our board, done it better than perfect. Ah, yes. Love it. That's that point. And, and then if you keep doing it, you're going to gain that perfection over time. But just do that. Yes. Yeah, and Amy Anton always says this. He says, perfection is overrated, man. Just do it. Yes. Like, seriously. Yeah. Don't well, wait for it all to work out. out. Take okay. action. Yeah. Take what? Action. Okay, so all this came from Gary Miller, not Lance Otto. Okay, so if you don't like it, that's fine. Gary. Right. Right. I'm just spreading the message. Yes. And, he, and I'm, I'm like John Maxwell. John Maxwell, he believes in a river flowing, not a stale, stagnant pond. River flowing, river flowing. This is what this is. We got a river flowing with all this stuff. And now it's up to us to go out there and make things happen. Okay. <laughs> Good job.